My name is Toby Hendricks. Uh, my rap band project music thing is called Odom Relic. And like I said, it was about five years ago. I just decided that I wanted to make music pretty much and I just started recording at home and just had a really simple setup at the time. Just like a little four track recorder and like a sampler. That's kind of how it got started, just me wanting to make music for myself pretty much. The generic term I usually use is like underground hip hop or like experimental hip hop, but it, there's a lot of hip hop influence in it. I have like grew up listening to hip hop, so and it's rap, so like basically it's it's sort of based in the genre of hip hop, but the there's so many influences like just from indie rock, shoegaze, like folk music. There's a lot of different influences in it, so it's hard. It's definitely hard to. Just put it into one category, I guess. The, the music scene is definitely growing. There's a lot more diverse acts like happening now than there was. They're like, I don't know. When I first started making music, it was just there's a lot of jam bands and stuff at that time, and not a whole lot of like original stuff happening. But there's definitely, like I said, this underground community sort of that's that's growing, and more and more people are coming to these house shows and things like that. I think people are sort of becoming more experimental, which can be bad sometimes. <laughs> if you're gonna make music, make music that you wanna make and you know, just be honest in music. I think that's a that's something that's lacking in a lot of music that's coming out today. It's just it's just honesty. My songs are very like confessional songs. They're just journal entries pretty much. Like all my songs are about me pretty much and my friends, my coworkers, and things like that, and just, just all the things like you know the hard times in life and stuff. I use kind of music as sort of therapy to like get through things and get get emotions out and things like that. So when I first started recording songs, they were sort of not as much, not as personal, I guess, as they are now. So and I was actually a little bit more afraid to put myself out there in my songs and really talk about things like really frankly and transparently tell people things about my life that are just like you know pretty serious but when I first started making music just as you know you first start doing anything you're not as comfortable with it so I've just always wanted to make music for myself and make like pretty sounding music and music that I would like to listen to so I don't know if, I, if it's on some grander scheme I definitely am not aware of it I've, I've done Pretty much 10, I think, releases, which that counts everything. Though. I mean, all my old stuff that was just like I had burned, you know, 20 CDRs and like that was an album. But the more notable ones I'd say were mostly in the last couple of years, which was uh, the Dead of Winter EP, which was in 2006. And then that was just an EP, six songs. And then I put out an album on a cassette tape after that, and it was called Cassette Tape. And it was sort of a concept album about, or just like involving lots of found sound and a lot of the songs were constructed from cassettes that I bought at thrift stores and stuff. So, and then after that, and that, this is my biggest release to date right now is uh, Chain Reaction Robot, which just came out, I think a couple of months ago. And that was uh, pretty much a three year process in the, like of recording and writing it. So that is my most notable release, I guess. It'd be nice to, to make a living off of it for sure. Like I'm, I'm still working a day job and stuff. So uh, in order to, like if I could cut that out and just do music full time and have it pay for itself pretty much and just pay rent pretty much. <laughs>